Hi Pisces, welcome to a special reading. This is for the end of uh, the year. So I'm calling it, <coughs> pardon me, I'm calling it um, Goodbye 2022. So it'll just run out. This reading will keep you going now from now until um, December 31st. So we're going to do a nine card read with the true black. I'll clarify with the black violet. And then I've also got, at the end of the reading, I'll do a white or oracle card for you. Spirit Animal card and the Unremarkable Oracle deck, which I've never used before. So that'll be interesting. So here we go. Nine cards. That's you in the middle. Pisces, that's looking really good. Yep, still good. Don't like to see that. That is a great, great card. Really good. Yeah, some nice power in this one. Uh, he's back again. Okay. And again. And again. And the fool, glad to see that. That was um, hiding. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck as well. So this is looking really, really good. I've just done one for Leo that was really tough, Pisces. If you've got Leo as one of your crossings, um, it might be worth checking that out. It's a tough old read, that one. They come out victorious, but they're in for a tough end of the year. A um, lot of um, something going on. I don't know what, because again, these readings are um, general. So I'm not sat with you, so we can't talk about whether it's your partner or your job or your money situation. Or So it's just a general read. Really, really simply put, it kind of goes from left to right and from bottom to top. But you can kind of read them anyway, and I tend to read quite instinctively. Some really nice cards in here. This is your central card. This is you, and it's kind of bleeding into the others. Four of Wands foundational card is getting everything set in place it's all coming together there's freedom freedom and celebration um this is the big word for this one because the bird has broken its chains and is flying off so freedom is yours that's really nice to see in your first row you have got um the chariot the fool and the sun three major arcana cards including the best card in the deck you've also got the ace of um cups on the bottom as well just top notch read top notch chariot it's about steering your own destiny it's about driving yourself to, forward to your own victory you're in control you've got the reins you know how to do this just go out and do it yeah success 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 uh, the full card is about jumping in with both feet it's the start of a new adventure it feels like a start of the new adventure towards the end of the year. I'm not saying this starts in January, although it could. This just feels like a really good way to wrap up the year. Um, having said that, it gets a bit tighter down here. So let's have a think. Um, but yeah, the full card is zero in the tarot. It's all or nothing. He's on the edge of a cliff jumping. He's been represented by a baby here. This idea that, you know, when we're born, we don't have any any uh, limitations really you know we're just we're just coming into the world and everything is new and exciting what a great feeling that is sun card is just lovely it's joyful celebratory it's your inner child coming forward um it warms the entire deck it's just the best card in the deck wherever her feet dance sunflowers burst into life joy 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 just fantastic so that's a really nice row in the middle row, you've got the King of Swords, the Four of Wands we've just done, and the Ten of Swords. So let's do Ten of Swords first, the end of something. Tens are about a completion. It's not about finishing the chapter, it's about finishing the book. And it's a who done it, and you know the butler did it. So, you, you know, you can't go back from that. You can't unsee it, you can't unread it. It's done, done, done. It's, it's seeing your partner with somebody else doing something they shouldn't, and you just go, that's it now. There's no coming back from this. It's you know, I don't know, covering for maternity leave on a job and knowing that on January 1st, the person on maternity leave is coming back. You know, you've done the bit you asked them to do. You shake hands, you walk away. It's it's done. It's not negative. Don't think of it that way. Could be, you know, you just finished chemo and you're waiting on the results, but the chemo is done. You know, everything is like, it's come to the end. Now we go on to phase two or phase 27, whichever one it is. And we got the freedom from that as well. So that obviously brings a certain freedom with you. You're a bit like, oh, that's that's that done. Yeah. My dog needs to go to the vets. So he's going to go to the vets. The vet's going to treat him and that's that done. We then move on to the next bit. Uh, and at the top of the card there, you've got the King of Swords. King of Swords, he's, he's driven his, his iron sword into the ground so hard. He's actually fusing with the earth and, and turning to stone itself. It's a really windy day. He's got a black cloak that's billowing in the wind, but he's not moving. He's, he's rock solid. 
Um, his words can sometimes cut and he can be quite my way of the highway, but he doesn't do this out of any sense of malice or mischief. You know, he's a bit sort of, don't go that way, there's roadworks, go this way, it'll be quicker. If you choose to go that way, I go, told you there were roadworks. He's not. It's not a no, 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 no energy. It's, it's literally just a straightforward. If you eat that chilli, it's going to make your head explode. You don't like chilies. It's going to be too spicy for you. If you continue to proceed and ignore the advice of the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is in your head. It's your head that's telling you this. So sometimes we make a decision based on our hearts. And sometimes we make it based on our heads. King of Swords, it's all about the head decision. You know, you do what's right. And then finally, you've got down here... Not happy to see the Seven of Swords again. It came up for Leo, as did the Four of Cups. And then we've got the Queen of uh, Wands. So it finishes really nicely. The Queen of Wands is is um, my magnetic card. You walk into a room and there's a party and there's someone kind of holding court in the corner or someone you're drawn to. That lovely magnetic energy, that's you. That's the Queen of Wands here. Um, flirty, vivacious, open-hearted, generous, warm... Um, just, just really kind of folding everybody in and go, oh, have you met Dave from next door? He also goes bike riding and then set people up and not, not in a matchmaker kind of way, but just that bringing people together. At the top here, we've got the Seven of Swords, which is, there's a certain amount of jealousy. I read it as a jealousy card because I don't think, Pisces, that you're this kind of person. The biggest dagger is reserved for the rats, so the traitor is going to get found out. It's good karmic. Karma is a real thing. They will get their just desserts, don't you worry. Um, and the universe, this card is the mech card. You've got, you know, you've got the fool, which is all about, let's go on the journey, let's have an exciting adventure. Yeah, let's go for it, let's break the chains. And you're just going, mm, let me think about that for a minute. There's four cups there. They've all got different levels of water in. I think one's filled with vodka, uh, neat vodka, not water. You drink out of all four and your face doesn't change. That's you trying too hard to suppress the joy and the freedom. It's a bit sort of, I'm not going to let people know how much I enjoyed that pantomime. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. You know, it's it. it's, and the universe here is this this white flower. Is, the universe is kind of going, no, I'm trying to give you something that even you don't know you want. You know, how exciting is that? There's nothing wrong with going for a walk and, and seeing, I don't know, something, a tree, a child, a dog, a bird, um you know, leaves falling to the ground and just being, just enjoying them and just going, you don't go, well, why, why am I smiling at that? Because you're supposed to. Just get out, have a good time, just just let it happen. Universe has got a plan. And, and once you do that, you become this lovely, lovely kind of, what's the word? Um, you, you become the person everybody else wants to hang around with. There you go, Pisces, that's what happens. So, the hap you know, if you want to find love, you need to love yourself first, don't you? If you're if you're happy and desirable and you've got interests and you, you look after yourself and you have a positive outlook on life, that is going to draw uh, similar-minded people to you. And, and what's wrong with that? And again, it's, it's kind of compounded with the Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups, these poppies down here, these are your dreams, this is your intention. You know, and it's just saying you need to water them. You know, you can't, you can't put poppy seeds in the ground and hope they'll grow. Well, you could. You could put them out in the field and they'll grow quite happily. But, you know, if you're going to put them in a pot and then not water them, wonder why they die. So you need to put them in the pot and water them and nourish them and, and they will come true. You know, your dreams will come true if you nurture them. Much better reading than Leo. I might have to redo Leo's. It was so horrible. Um, I won't. Ace of Wands on top there. So you've got two new starts here. You've got the Ace of Cups, which is all about the heart. You've got the Ace of Wands, which is about action enthusiasm passion doing something and it ties in with this card really nicely by the way um because the ace of wands is a, a sort of that enthusiasm where you go come on let's go and do this and everyone goes wow they're really excited yeah come on then let's do it because you're so excited you just pull people along knight of pentacles the, uh, on top of the chariot steering your own victory there's there's a couple of cards here that are slowing you back down again You'd, I would have expected the Knight of Swords instead of the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is fine, but you can see how slowly that horse is moving. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm just one plodding along quite happily. I'm looking at the money I've got. I'm looking at the situation I have. I'm quite happy with that. And the chariot's a bit more a bit more vigorous. It's like, come on, let's do this. So you've kind of gone, do you know what? I should do this. And then you've gone, let me just think about it and just slow down a little bit. 
three of wands yeah your ships are coming in so that, that's definitely going to make people jealous the two of wands was you preparing and sending everything out this is your ships coming in this is this is things beginning to happen this is rewards beginning to show themselves that's really nice on top of the three of wands you've got the three of swords as well when you're in this lovely chatty confident vivacious gregarious drawing people in it's going to make people jealous but also there may be somebody in your recent past who feels hard done by um so this is a card of healing or being healed or healing somebody could be you could be you that needs you know you're at the party and you're smiling but inside you're crying you know you need to let go of a situation if you were with somebody and you're no longer with them and you want to be with them but they don't want to be with you that's the answer the universe doesn't put two people together that don't want to be together they they force themselves to be in that horrible situation round peg square hole all that kind of stuff so i think this might be you i think you need to heal from something um but you've got this sort of lovely gregarious vivacious you know if you said i'm really sad people go really you you know you're the life and soul of the party and and you will be you just need to like i say you just need to heal you know there are some things you can change some things you definitely can't and if you can't you, you know if the person that you really fancied is now happily married with a family you need to walk away from that it's done dusted it's over ten of swords over with walk away uh, you really wanted that job it went to somebody else it's over it's done walk away the universe has got a plan something better is on the horizon on top of the sun card you've got the fool again so look at this fantastic she's literally about to jump into the abyss doesn't know where she's going to land but it's like i'm going to do it she's got a lovely smile on her face really relaxed really joyful so doubling down with the fool this is definitely about jumping in with both feet seeing where you end up six of pentacles make sure that you know you got the lovely stoic card of the king of swords there make sure that there's a balance to be found make sure that somebody's not left out in the cold um so this ties in with the healing card i think um ju just make sure you're um completely transparent with what's going on that's what i'm feeling with the six of pentacles there this is sometimes a card of you know there's two beggars and she's giving money to one beggar and not another and it's like why why have you chosen which one to give money to it is a card of um of balance she's got the scales in the hand there so it's like don't be mean-spirited you know if you're kind it'll be rewarded you may have to be stern you may have to tell the truth which people might not like and that's the king of swords sometimes he says stuff that people go oh, how rude you know the king of swords is very sort of wow i've not seen you in a year you put some weight on haven't you and you you know you go oh how rude but if you put weight on then it's true you know it's like oh yeah i have uh because and he'll go oh i can understand why yeah you had that dog for years didn't you must have been very sad when he passed blah blah, blah. so he can he can be empathetic it's it's not it's not a cold-hearted thing it's just very logical there you go the tower on top of the 10 yeah so you've got this big chain you know this is something dead done dusted over and the tower talks about you know they built themselves this fantastic edifice but it was a folly it didn't have a door in it so of course when the lightning struck they couldn't get out so they were trapped so they end up falling into their doom this is about your ego being stripped away you know people go oh check me out i live in a bigger house than you i've got a bigger car than you and you just go no you've got bigger debts than i have yeah because obviously these things cost money or maybe they've won the lottery and they live in a big house but in that case it's not going to make them happier it's just going to make them richer yeah so this is really tearing down stuff that doesn't serve you anymore and again ties in with the healing card here ties in with that six up there about finding some kind of balance um hmm, it's interesting when i said finding some kind of balance both fool cards went no it isn't because the fool card isn't about balance the fool card is you know if you want to go to vegas and put it all on black that's what the fool does i'm not recommending that by the way in fact i'm ex exactly the opposite um, although i'd love to go to vegas because i'm a raiders fan maybe not at the moment i mean i'm still a fan but maybe not go at the moment um and then we've got the eight of cups this is uh, on top of the four which was the meh card the kind of oh, i can't really make a decision nothing interests me anymore the eight of cups is about sailing away from well not sailing away but moving away from something that doesn't serve you and she's not doing it in a sad face it ties in with these two really nicely you know when you're at the end of something you put the book down this is literally like being in the library you've read the who done it you know the butler did it and then you go do i get another cup do i get another cup do i get another book out of the library no today i'm going to go to the park and get in a canoe you know it, 
it's just about the library doesn't serve me anymore there's nothing wrong with the library nothing wrong with your partner you know you could go they're lovely i just don't want to be with this person anymore it's not a negative thing it's just time to move on so the eight of cups is literally about moving on to something else and all these cups are filled with joy and promise and hope and none of them serve you and it's not done in a a belittling way or a sad way you just kind of go yeah that's it it's over it's done with i'm going on to the next adventure which is what the fool does and on top of the fool you got the seven of cups you're going to find when you take this fool energy you're going to get lots and lots of choices um and you need to make a choice yeah not making a choice is not a choice by the way i used to think it was and it's really not the universe will say you can have this or this or this but if you don't choose something it'll turn to smoke so you go well i'm i'm not going to make a choice because that's a choice it goes it isn't really you needed to pick something out of one of these cups one of the cups holds the unknown so you could go i'm going to pick the unknown option yeah i'm not taking the new job i'm not having the new partner i'm not going for the money route i'm not going to you know burn out i'm not going to do this there are lots of things you choose not to do but you do need to pick something and then we're going to finish off with this white light oracle. You've got the spirit bear. Um, that is about healing. Um, kind of going into your inner cave. It ties in really nicely with this three. Uh, let me just find that because... Hang on. What number is it? 15. Just bear with me for a minute. Yeah, you've been healed from guilt and fear. Such emotions will no longer steal your personal power or dissuade you from confidence, happiness and realising your own worth. Yeah, realising your own worth. Um, no matter how unlikely it may seem, you're going to emerge from a spiritual winter into light and life. Divinely ordained time for your liberation, healing and emergence is much closer than you realise. Abundant blessings are stir stirring and shall soon manifest very nice very very nice oh horse spirit that's lovely uh horse spirit i don't i don't know if you've ever been around horses but they're really good for the soul aren't they they're just so happy to be around humans um freedom is yours it yeah you've got two fool cards of course it is freedom is yours you've got the freedom to do what you want um i'm not doing this as a reading for 2023 i'm trying really hard not to say and next year you can do all of this this is about what's happening up of the run into the end of this year so you know you could read this on the 29th of december you could read it today which is the 16th of november so you've got six weeks to go or you've got six hours to go doesn't matter freedom is yours you've got two fool cards here yeah fantastic 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 and then the um unremarkable oracle you've got the wall card wall is it's a really simple card this one basically you just decide are you using you know is is the wall to keep people out or is the wall to keep you in or is the wall there to to keep you you know i tell you what it is i used to do mountain biking many years ago we go up into the hills and and the weather would change it'd be really horrible and there'd be a dry stone wall and on one side, it would be a howling gale. We would just literally lift the bags over the wall, hunker down on the other side, and you'd be out of the wind and dry. You know, put your hood up, have a biscuit or some jelly beans, and wait for the storm to pass. And that's what the wall gives you, doesn't it? It gives you that respite, that ability to kind of, today I'm going on the other side of the wall, I'm going to go and heal. Tomorrow I'm going to come back out the other side of the wall and be the lovely gregarious life and soul of the party boom 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 yeah so you you are all these things by the way you know you can't be one thing no one is just the fool or you know the queen of wands it, it, it's it's different aspects of your personality and i did it for uh leo so i'm gonna do it for everyone which is this is the oldest deck i've got this is a traditional rider weight uh thank you annie many 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 years ago she bought me this this is my first ever tarot deck so let's just pick a card for you and this is just to sign off with goodbye 2022 lots of information and communication coming through a fair bit of movement so you're in for a fairly active end of the year um party on so have a fantastic end to 2022 pisces been a pleasure this year my first year doing a, a channel and i really appreciate you being here and hopefully uh, you'll see me for the weekly ones that run us out to the end of the year. And I'll do a big one for next year as well. Happy 2023. See you soon.